Hey Rich here, 645 CI. I'm replacing the reservoir for the power steering pump. I'm getting an error code 5D 5B ARS uh, pressure buildup uh, front axle. I'm doing this as a maintenance item because it has a built in filter and it hasn't been replaced. Uh, I got 77,000 miles. Um, what I did was I used the, a baster and this syringe. I pulled all the fluid out right from the top. Uh, once that was out, two bolts, unbolt it, and I unbolted the coolant reservoir. This pulls right out of the way. Then this pulls right up. And it's the level connector, level sensor connector, and two hoses with hose clamps on them. And it looks like this. And what you do when you use the hose clamps, I would use the fuel injection type clamps. Uh, they are a lot better than the regular standard hose clamps. Uh, they just hold the hose all the way around. And I would also use a genuine uh, reservoir. A lot of these vehicle parts need to be genuine, uh, especially the thermostat, uh, a lot of electrical components, uh, definitely fuel injectors. Throttle bodies, if you use the aftermarket or uh, the eBay Chinese stuff, uh, yeah, they may work for a little while. They may even do some damage. I know the injectors flow is not correct. They'll flow good at idle, but at high speeds, they could run lean. They could damage your motor, uh, stuff like that. Um, and also watch out, there's a lot of counterfeit parts. Uh, I've been finding counterfeit parts on Amazon Definitely for AC Delco, I, I haven't ordered any Bosch stuff yet. But um, yeah, beware, counterfeit parts. A lot of times you can tell by the packaging. Um, sometimes the colors are off. Sometimes a part is off. And one way to tell is if the price is very low compared to what everybody else is selling at four inches. Beware. So this is what it looks like when the reservoir is out. My reservoir switch was actually leaking a little bit. So this is the level switch and it had some oil in it. I just dried it out and I'm um, going to assemble it. And you know, this is the right fluid, the CHF 11S. Just check the cap on your reservoir. So the issue with the car, I said the 5D, 5D, 5B, um, it pops up on the screen as a dynamic drive error. I'm changing this just to rule it out. Um, it's pointing to either this or a voltage issue so i'm going to put a data logger on the car and just have it running and constantly check the voltage if i get the error i will see the uh, voltage at the time and all it is is my scanner uh, logs voltage all right take care